Hey guys, little sneak peek on the new gizmos for better pie menu. So as you can see, I have a gizmo here. I can move it. And if I click on it, bam, I will have this result. So I will have several gizmos to call different pop-ups. For example, the modifier pop-up, the material pop-up, the shading pop-up, the smart menu for the object. If I select something else, I will have the smart menu for the light. I will be able to edit uh, all the light with the list here. You can disable the list if you don't want to use it. And same, if I deselect everything, I will have the uh, gizmos necessary to create uh, primitives like that, to save the scene, to change the shading of the scene, and to toggle the editors. You can disable the gizmos in the add-on preferences if you don't want to use them. Okay? So, uh, I have this. I can do that, like that. I can also do that. That means uh, that will be a linear gizmo. I can move it here, I can make it horizontal and uh, lock it at the center of the U here. So as you can see, this is uh, pretty nice. Let's move it here back. Let's go back here. You can do this if you want. You can do that. Uh, it's really up to you to change the size of the uh, gizmo like that. And uh, you will be able to perform several operations for each gizmo as you can see here. Same for the uh, modifiers, apply, remove, uh, toggle modifier like that. Uh, for the shading, for the material, uh, you can add material, remove material. For the shading, you can activate or disable the overlay. Uh, same for the grid like that. This is pretty easy. Uh, for the uh, object mode, etc., you just click that will toggle. If you are in script mode, you will click that will go back in edit mode and if you click once again you will come back in script mode after that you can select different mode by dragging like that okay so as you can see this is simple uh, if the scene has been saved and uh, you can see this is green if you activate the auto save this is red and if the scene hasn't been saved uh, this is gray i can disable the auto save like that so that's it and uh, this is as simple as that but uh, this is really powerful up Let's move it here. If I select another object, as you can see, I will have different results like that. So do I have a camera in my scene? Yes, I will select a camera. And as you can see, I will have the settings for my camera now. And I will be able to, for example, uh, go inside the camera like that and change the different views like that. Let's exit, etc., etc. I can add constraints for the camera, etc. So that's it.